Hello, party people. The day has come. News has arrived. It feels like it's been ages, and I suppose it kind of has. A couple of video plans have come about and passed without me actually making them. Um, but ultimately, uh, you know, I've just I've just been way too busy, and it's been a crazy while. But there's also been no news to report on, so it would have only been speculation content, and I didn't really need to, you know use what little free time I had on that, if that makes sense. But we do actually have something to talk about today. I would like to note, however, that I had to write this video twice before working on this version, because I was going to cover the E3 schedule and when we might see Evil Dead show up on any given day, and then I found out that the Summer Games Fest website listed Saber Interactive in their involved studios, uh, and I was like, oh, darn, I have to go back and rewrite all that. And uh, so I did that, um, and I rewrote the whole video around uh, this bit of new information. And um, I, was, uh, I, I was writing all night, and I worked on it real hard, and then I woke up today, and I was like, all right, well, i got a couple of things to do. I'll do those. Then I'll, um, you know, I'll, uh, I'll shower. I'll go get some groceries, you know, run some errands. And then I'll come back, and I'll, and I'll record this video, and I'll throw it up, and it... It's a little bit late, but it's still still all right on time. And so I, I was about to uh, shower and leave when I was like, ah, you know what, I'll check my business email. What the hell? And I did so, and I was like, oh, it's just like one of these Twitter notification compilation emails. It was really nothing. But I, uh, I, I poked through it just in case, you know, maybe, maybe there's something important I missed or something. I don't know. It's a pretty shitty app, so <laughs> you never know. And I checked it, and of course, oh, they're like, oh yeah, no, you know, the official Evil Dead the game uh, uh, Twitter tweeted for the first time in like five months. Um, so here we are, and this is the third draft for this video. So I just hope I hope you all appreciate uh, the fact that I have now spent like 20 hours on a five to 10 minute video, um, assuming that I managed to keep it within that time range, and just. Bear with me if I seem a little tired. So, this big tweet from the Evil Dead The Game Twitter uh, showcased a new image with a new character. And it also announced that um, Evil Dead The Game was, uh, you know, definitely going to appear as a part of the Summer Games Fest show on Thursday, which starts at 2 p.m. EST. Um, which, by the way, I won't really be able to cover live. Uh, I'm, I'm not home until 5 that day. Uh, but I will work on a, a quick video with all of my uh, immediate thoughts and reactions that night, and then something a couple of days later that's a bit more um, substantial, I believe. Uh, we'll have to see what happens, of course. Um, but this new character was Cheryl. Cheryl Williams has been confirmed for Evil Dead the Game as a playable character. Um, this is very exciting. Uh, I think Cheryl is a great character. Uh, she's a great representative of Evil Dead 1 in that era and iteration of Evil Dead, um, and I think the model here looks fantastic. But let's really stop for a moment and uh, dig into this image, uh, as we have done in the past. Um, as you can see here, uh, the, uh, the background is not really giving us anything new to work with, which is fine, I'm sure we'll have plenty to work with come Thursday. But the background here just shows us the plain old cabin in its plain old state. No real significant features of the cabin here to take note of. It just sort of looks the way it has previously, but from a different angle. Uh, maybe somebody a little bit more uh, in tune with the history of uh, the cabin and its uh, many changes over the years uh, could tell me a little bit more from this photo, but me personally, I see really nothing of significance in the background. However, Cheryl herself uh, has some things to tell us, uh, primarily in regards to the character design process and character selection sort of priorities, I guess, if that makes sense. There's a running theory I've been working on over the last few Evil Dead speculation videos um, about the way that they choose characters and what goes into the character designs and also what that might tell us about the gameplay. Uh, this is based primarily on the four characters that were first shown off, and it does still also apply to the uh, the next characters that we were shown. This theory 
uh, states that there are two primary factors that go into whether or not a, a character will show up and in what form they might show up. And these two factors are, one, representation of an era or an iteration of Evil Dead, and two, if they have an iconic weapon of some sort or an iconic aspect to bring to the table. The first four revealed all represent a different era of Evil Dead. Uh, you have Scotty for Evil Dead 1, uh, you have Ash himself for Evil Dead 2, uh, specifically with the chainsaw hand and with his shotgun. Uh, you have Lord Arthur for Army of Darkness, and you have Kelly for Ash vs. Evil Dead or Avet. Now, you also might notice that each of them had an iconic, specific weapon that they are always pictured with in the promotional imagery for the game. Uh, Scotty is typically pictured with the pickaxe. Um, meanwhile, Ash is obviously depicted with, you know, the chainsaw hand. It's, it's kind of his thing. Um, and then Lord Arthur is obviously depicted with a sword. And uh, Kelly is typically pictured with a long, sort of a rifle firearm. Now, we've also since then seen Pablo get revealed. And he is depicted with a, uh, a handgun. And while we have seen uh, different characters and deadites all wielding the pickaxe, the rest of those weapons, we have only seen the specific correlating characters wielding. So this is sort of the basis for my running theory on how characters work in Evil Dead the game. Now Cheryl is just wielding a pickaxe. Um, she obviously fits into the Evil Dead 1 category of uh, the, uh, representing an era aspect of it, but she uh, also seems to share a weapon with Scotty. They both seem to use the pickaxe, which makes sense. I mean, neither of them really had a particular weapon they used in the film. I think uh, Scotty might have used, like, the regular axe at some point. Um, but there isn't really a particular weapon, especially for Cheryl. So I wonder also if that means that this will sort of just be how it works for side characters that don't really have a specific iconic weapon, because obviously Pablo and Kelly both from Ash Versus, but they have different, unique weapons. Uh, now, we don't know exactly how these are going to factor into gameplay, but if I had to guess, that's because they were able to come up with a unique weapon for each of these characters. Um, for example, uh, any Nobi or, uh, alternatively, Ruby could both have the Kendarian Dagger from, you know, the whole series, but uh, both of them are from different eras of the franchise. However, if we were to get, say, Linda... I think they would probably, depending on which Linda they go with, because she's been in all four iterations of the franchise, uh, they would probably just give her a weapon that corresponds to another character from that era, or an, an, another particular weapon from that era. She doesn't necessarily have a weapon, unless you consider her own head a weapon, or like a chainsaw that's actively embedded inside of her throat after she's been decapitated but it's it, like it's not really a you understand what i'm getting at here design wise i think that the model looks spectacular um here is original cheryl for reference alongside the image cheryl uh, i think that they have done an interesting thing by uh combining the original version of cheryl and the ash versus version of cheryl because uh, the costuming, especially, for these two, is not the same. And they've sort of done this interesting mesh between the two. And I think it looks awesome. It sort of leans into, most of all, that uh, that hippie, late 70s, early 80s sort of aesthetic. And I think that just sort of perfectly places her as an icon of this time period, especially in the context of the Evil Dead franchise. And it makes her stand out a lot visually, and also sort of tonally. She's got a cool look here. I'm also interested to see in how Cheryl might play out narratively. Um, we don't know exactly how the narrative of the game works. We just know that there is one. Again, I still believe that it'll be sort of a Left for Dead campaign kind of a story. Um, with maybe a little bit more in between the uh, campaigns, levels, whatever you want to call them. But for the most part, that's all I really have to say about this image in particular. I'm very, very excited for Thursday when we see the gameplay reveal. I think a good, solid look at the gameplay could tell us a lot of things that we aren't currently sure of, and that is something to be very, very excited about. 
I'm sure I will have to do a lot of talking this weekend and uh, create at least a couple of videos to cover whatever gets shown off. We don't know how long it'll be. Uh, we also don't know when in the show it'll appear or if perhaps uh, it will also appear as like part of the Nintendo showcase or even the Xbox showcase or something. I wouldn't really count on that. Or maybe it'll show up on the PC gaming show roster. I Who, who can say for sure? But what we do know is that we're going to see gameplay, and I think that's going to be pretty sick. Something I think and hope that we might see is some sort of a extra supplemental bit of information about uh, the release window for the game. As it is now, we don't really know. Everybody's sort of been assuming, oh, it's going to be fall, it's a horror game. Oh, it, it might be earlier, like summer. Everybody's out of school, it's a multiplayer game, you know, whatever. Um, and I, I still think that summer or uh, fall sounds very realistic. Given that we're seeing a proper gameplay trailer this early on, I wouldn't be afraid to say that this could come out in, like, August? Maybe even July, but I would not go as far as to say that. I would say that August or September would be a reasonable guess right now, and October is certainly still on the docket, too. And who knows, maybe it'll even get delayed until November. You never really know. But this is what we do know. We're getting a gameplay trailer, and we have a lot of reasons to be excited right now. Expect the gameplay reveal on Thursday, a video from me the same night if all goes according to plan, and watch my Twitter for updates if you really care that much, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop. Plateau! Parada! <laughs>